God bless you guys. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead, come on here. I may as well share this sign right now. I don't want to keep keeping it myself. Some of y'all may have known it. I accidentally blurted it out on a video. Uh, big me, whatever. But uh, I never believed in this three days darkness guys thing. I used to laugh at it a, a lot. But Yeshua visited me. I'll just go ahead and tell you. I may as well tell you since you know about this stuff. Uh, I was put in the belly of the well of Jonah guys when I was sleeping. Um. I was literally dumped into the well of Jonah. I, I was taken in a prophetic experience, shown three different things, shown I didn't know what it meant until I woke up. I got the, the uh, darkness prophecy first before that. And I thought, nah, this can't be. Is, is this real? Do I even believe in this three days darkness thing? I mean, I was getting it while I was writing it when he was telling me because you've done this and that and that and that. And he's prophesying through me. And then I asked for confirmation and everything, and then days went, days went by, and then I randomly, on one day, I was thrown in the belly of wild Jonah. I didn't know, and I was like, and when I woke up, I was like, wait, Jonah was in the belly of the well three days. And Yeshua uh, kissed me on the forehead, and he told me different things, and I literally saw, it was so real, a scroll put in front of my hand telling me to write. Basically telling me to what, write what's never been written before and stuff, and, and, he, was, and he was guiding me. And it, it said, if the Elijah called darkness is in his name, I'll just go ahead and tell you, 2, two, 20, two, two 7, 22 days on the 27th, I, I counted. I looked up also to confirm it because I was like, okay, so it's 22 days on the uh, 27th from 10-22. I looked up 10-22 and it says, after receiving this three days of darkness, it says, Moses lifted up his staff and there was darkness on the earth three uh, there was three, three and a half days. And then 27th, I believe, you can look it up. 10, look, I challenge you guys to go all over the Bible, look up 1022, 1027. You'll, you'll be surprised at what you get. And I think the 27th said, you will see my face no more, he said to Pharaoh. And, and about Satan seeing my face no more, you know, because of what plagues I'm going to pour out. But I'm just going to, I just went ahead and told you, I thought it would be more dramatic to wait till six, but I didn't mean to just blurt it out. I really didn't mean to, but I'm, I'm glad I, I said it now. Uh, and I asked, is it really going to happen on the 27th? And in my dream, I was told a quarter of the 11th will be brought in on the 27th. And I woke up and I'm horrible at math. I didn't pass math class, guys, because I was just so bullied and, and so scared and everything. And I was too distracted and stuff. But I asked, hey, Suri, what's a quarter of the 11th? And it said uh, 0 0.227. I looked at the clock. It was 227. Then uh, days later, I, I decided to add up the numerical numbers in my name, and it was 227, simple gematria, uh, 227. And, and I knew it was a word of the Lord. And moreover, uh, a, a guy that's doing a code for me, a Jewish guy, he said he found my name the first two... Uh, Sean Matthew, my my first and middle name, which means God is grace, God is gracious, and he said it means signs. And I was told I was going to be doing signs and wonders. And this is like uh, the prophet, uh, uh, what do you call it, Jonah did. He said, whoever's God is God, he's going to answer. And we'll prove whose God is real and whose God is false. And, and so all those false doctrines I put in the church, I put them all in that book. Jesus, she would told me, he said, if I don't do it this way, they're going to keep following those false gospels to hell. And he said, I got to, I got to clean up my church. I got to prove who's me. You know, I wanted, I wanted to always do this. You know, I wanted to pour out my power. He said, it wasn't for me to do in my time because I came to die for those souls. I had my ministers to do that. I wanted to raise up somebody. And so he said, I can't find a man in the earth that is walking in holiness right now, but you're set apart for me. That's why I'm giving it to you. That because even the so-called churches, they've overcome those uh, th those pornography and different things. They are still put out. They when I came on there, they just would throw cast cold water on me, and th they wouldn't want. And I was a menace to my people. I am a menace to my people. I'm hated by my people, and so it said in Elijah codes, he'll be hated by his people. It said that the remnant is a corpse remnant, and that's kind of what I've been hated for saying the remnant is a corpse before. And all these different things. Just look at the come near Elijah code. It said there's darkness in his name. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and tell you. Uh, 
the 27th, I was told to do it on noon time, at least my time. You, it can't be noon everywhere, guys, because there's different times. But noon time, I'm not going to tell you how it's going to happen either, but uh, how this thing was going to happen. That'll be in the, in the stuff, you know, in, in October 6th. But, but um, what do you call it? I'm going to lift up my staff noon time because Jesus, you know, on, I asked him when to, what time to do it, and he said noon time. So it'll be noontime, um, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, and on the 30th at 3 o'clock, it'll the cloud will be removed and people will go to see. And that 3 o'clock time will be different in some different time zones, but for me, it's 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock in the day and 12 noon, you know, Texas time. And so, uh, because that's, it was 3, it was 12 o'clock on the cross when Jesus was uh, crucified when that darkness hit. And you can look up what happened after that. It's prophetic. And so God is doing this to prove which gospel is the truth so that those false gospels are going to be cast. Yeshua, remember when he talked about Revelation, he was about to cast them into tribulation. They would have some kind of tribulation, 10 days. There's a mystery to that, guys. So that's in this. Uh, a friend of mine years ago, Barbara, I did not know she prophesied about a certain 10 number thing and darkness a great darkness in october well he told me in a dream october 6th to 27th and later he revealed it was darkness and i was like wait she prophesied years ago about darkness and he told me yeah that's the same thing i was preparing you for that all these years and so i didn't know i was going to be the one releasing it i was a kind of a scared kid back then but uh anyways i'm gonna lift up my staff and gonna do it and i used to laugh at these things but i was put in the belly of jonah guys i could see the muscles of the the animal breathing it was so real it was around me it was like this i mean it was like it was like i can't describe what it looks like being in a fish normally it would be pitch black but i had light and so the guys that are holy on that time guys uh like the children of israel they had light in their dwellings that darkness will not come in your house but if not that darkness will be in your house it's a living day it's a living it's a living darkness guys it's a it's a darkness of hell, literally. It's outer darkness that the world's gonna taste. It's the sign of the Son of Man coming with great power, the sign of him, where all the tribes of the earth are gonna mourn. They're gonna be terrified. There's some decades to go, believe it or not, he told me. They're gonna be terrified though. They're gonna be outer in darkness, gnashing their teeth. Uh if they don't if they're not saved that's why I'm telling you to get rid of all these movies and things that darkness will torment you it'll literally torment you the knife sword is going to go through all hearts and convict them when he said I'm going to convict the world of sin he told me this 3 days of darkness will be officially I'm releasing it it'll be official uh conviction of the holy spirit i'll convict them for rejecting the little ones of mine for rejecting elijah when he came for the third for rejecting the other elijahs for rejecting all my words i'll convict them all of sin and he, and he told me this he made it known so powerful and asked for a sign what's a sign you're going to send a cloud to cover the sun and he said sahara dust cloud when i was awake and then two days later i saw sahara dust cloud on the news he also said Egypt plagues before that. And I saw one of the Egypt plagues swarms of locusts in West Africa. And they compared it even to uh, swarms of locusts. And so I'm just, maybe it's better that you know now, guys, so you can get 11 out of your houses. But it's going down, guys. I, I used to laugh at this, but Yeshua put me in the belly of Jonah. He confirmed it. And go search the scriptures. It says all over there after, after the time of Egypt. He says, at noontime, I will cover the earth in darkness. And so it has to be noontime somewhere. It's, it's noontime over here, where I am. But he's going to cover the world with darkness, and he's going to convict them. And it talks about in the Elijah Coast, he circumcised a whole nation. You know, he circumcised a nation. There's going to be a nation of people pulled out, maybe from all the nations, but but it's, it's going to circumcise them. So... Go ahead if you want to. You can share this video with everybody. They're going to think I'm an absolute nutcase. Let, let them do it, though. But but uh, I would never I would never prophesy a date, but he told me I'm going to be the one doing this. And so, uh, 
you know, make sure that your lamp isn't put out because if it is, if you're if you're in darkness at that time, it says in the book of Enoch when the dark that darkness happened, people that were sitting had to remain sitting. If you're standing, you had to remain standing. You could not see, they couldn't eat, they couldn't do anything. If you had your lamp put on, you could walk back and forth in your house and I don't know how much light, but you have enough light to walk back and forth to to eat, to get in the shower, to do whatever, but but people shouldn't definitely not go outside. I don't want to describe all of it. There's a lot of myths about different things, about taping up your windows. I don't see any sense of doing that. No sense in taping up your windows. I don't see any sense of that. But but there is a reason why there's a dangerous you shouldn't go out there. And maybe you'll find out you'll find you'll find out different things on October sixth and on. Just be ready, guys. October twenty seventh. Also, I thought it was interesting. NASA canceled their flight plans October 27th, 28th, 29th. They canceled them after I, I gave that date, you know, and or I, I was speaking about it somewhere, you know, I can't remember. They canceled it. So they those governments of the world, they listen to conversations. They take these things seriously when it's a serious prophecy. Satan's been watching for this a long time. It says all over the scripture, I'll cover the earth with a cloud at noontime. It's like they keep prophesying Isaiah's sign or... Uh, they keep prophesying Elijah's, or, or not a, a, Elijah, the three days darkness on Moses' sign over and over. It happened, this will be the fifth time it happened. It happened when Moses did it the first time, and then when, uh, what do you call it, Jonah, the prophet, was in the belly of a well three days, three nights. The son of man, it was darkness three hours on the cross, and then he went in the ground uh, three days. And then next time, it's, it's this three... Three days of darkness for the entire world. And he told me October 27th, and it's harvest time, you know. And so harvest has to be read before that happens. And then I'll shut off the camera because I got it. It says what your father, your father rewards you what you do in secret. But uh, shut off the camera after that and do that. And if, if this happens, you'll know who I am, who I say I am, guys. But get ready for this. Till next time, shalom.